you so much. It's a new year, and I've got some great guys you will really want to hear from. I've got the Data Boys. I've got Paul Bedard and Jimmy Riffle. Now, you've seen them on that channel, Honey Knows Gators, and I know you want me to ask these questions, so i got all the questions for you. Welcome to the show, Data Boys. Thank you. Hello. Hey, thank you so much for joining us. Okay, I'll start with Paul. Paul, what's the new season of Data Boys going to be like? Uh, it's going to be a lot different than the first season. The terrain's different, the elements are different, and uh, a lot of the people are different. Uh, people okay. in Mississippi are uh, they're kind of unique. They're kind of unique. You guys, where are you today? Are you in Florida? Yes. Yes, we are in Florida. Okay, Jimmy, uh, I know you have a gator there. Tell me about the gator. <laughs> Uh, the alligator that Paul's holding, uh, his name is Wally. This alligator is, you know, roughly about two years old, and, you know, he's continuously going to grow. He's just a young guy right now. But don't let his size fool you. He can still hurt you. He'll make you bleed if he bit you. Is a uh, part of the Gator Boys, is it about conservation? You know, kind of like how Steve Irwin did. He taught us to respect animals better. Is that what it's about? Yeah, for me, it's about, you know, saving the alligators. Um, as a nuisance alligator trapper, you don't get paid unless you harvest the animal. And, uh, you know, I just, uh, I've been around gators too long. I just don't like seeing them being caught up and destroyed because they swim down somebody's canal. You know what I mean? It's just, uh, rather see them live out their days somewhere than uh, they get turned into a suitcase. From what I'm understanding, you guys catch, like, Gators going wild, meaning like, you know, when they end up in people's backyard in, in Louisiana, Florida, or Mississippi, or something like that, when they end up out of their element or their previous habitat that people now occupy, correct? Yeah, That's we, right. you know, we go in different locations, uh, swimming pools, people's backyards, garages, I mean, anywhere these alligators end up, you know, we go in and we catch them out, and anywhere they shouldn't be. You know, and unfortunately, alligators are turning up now in a lot of places they shouldn't be, so we have to go in and get them. When you find a wild animal in your backyard, I'm in Texas now. Uh, I told you I was from Louisiana, but I'm in Texas now. But we have, like, uh, uh, little mountain cats or something like that that show up. So when you find a wild animal in, in your, your area, what do you, what, should you, what, do, what do you recommend we do? Just... Don't don't uh, don't try to get too close to it. Everybody wants to get close and take pictures. Don't underestimate them. Just have a healthy respect for them. And uh, you know, if they're hanging around too much, obviously you call the local uh, fish and wildlife. If anything, this new season, what do you think we're going to take away from this, Paul? Um, <laughs> I don't know. I was going to think anything anything good about us. I, mean, I think we're a little nuts. Like we hear that a lot lately. But uh, you just to get to see that how many um, of these big gators, especially in Mississippi, I get into these bizarre uh, locations where uh, we have to go in and, and remove them. And it's, um, it's, it's, it was a handful. That Mississippi mud got a little, uh, got a little irritating to me after a while. <laughs> Let me ask you, uh, how do you get trained to be a gator boy? Uh, you know, this isn't something we just, Paul and I just didn't wake up one morning and said, you know what, we want to catch alligators. You know, this is something we both have been doing for a very long time. You know, we started at a young age, and it's something that we fell in love with and we wanted and continued to do. And that's, you know, the rescue program, saving these alligators. We travel around, you know, doing an educational show, teaching people about the American alligator and, you know, how dangerous they can be. This is true reality TV. Do you think it will impart something good to the viewer? Yeah, I think so. I think it uh, gives people a different perspective on, you know, doing something completely different than what they usually uh, involve themselves with. You know, people's normal day-to-day -day lives isn't kind of like our normal day-to-day -day lives. And, uh, you know, if we can be some kind of an escape for people, then, you know, that's great. Okay, where can we watch season two? It's already a hit. Where do you want to send us online? Uh, you can see it on uh, on Animal Planet Sundays 
at uh, 9 o'clock, and the premiere is uh, January 6th for the new season. Well, we'll be watching with amazement, I'm sure, as we did in the previous season. I want to thank you, Jimmy and Proud, for coming on and talking about Data Boys on the Animal Planet. Okay, thank you thank for you. having us. God bless.